Do you happen to have a lot of PDFs and you just wish there was a place, one place that you could go to store them, a place that can keep them organized and would prevent you from having to create a folder for this group of PDFs and then another folder for another group of PDFs and then you got to double click on it and then you've got to open it up and then you've got to scroll to the page that you need to get the information or the, the details uh, that's stored in the PDF kind of ring a bell what if there was a single place that you could go to keep and store your PDFs you can search through them and you can keep them organized all in one place would that benefit you I'm going to show you one note and exactly how to do that now all you have to do to open OneNote, two different ways. This way that I'm going to show you is the using a web browser and doing it online. Now if you do have the installed applications on the computer or the device that you're using, all you have to do is open up that application. In this case, you're going to go ahead and simply open up the web browser. You're going to want to log into your Office 365 account. Whenever you do that, in the upper left hand corner, click on the app launcher and simply locate OneNote. That's the app we are wanting to open. And when I click on that, it's going to open up and make available the shortcuts to the notebooks that I have access to. Now, if you are part of any district group, you also have a district group notebook and you can do this for your office there as well very beneficial and very helpful as you can see here this one Brady at OneDrive Tennessee District Attorneys this is my personal notebook the next one is information systems conference and IT advisory board so these are the other groups that I am a part of this is my personal one now in your case, if you have never opened up your group notebook, then you're probably, when you click on one though, it's probably going to go directly to your personal notebook. So once you begin to use your groups a little more and you access them, they will populate here. Or you could also click in my notebooks and that shows you an additional view of that. I'm going to click on my name. And once it opens up, my notebook you can see here this is just a quick view of my personal notebook in here got the, for this video I'm using this demonstration section um, but I also have notes that I need to keep and store because as you know there's too much information to really try to remember all the stuff that goes on on a day-to-day -day basis so the best way I can keep my notes and to keep them organized and to keep them in one place, man, this is it. All of these notebook sections are more general. Um, so I can have uh, an area for exchange. I've also got uh, general information. I've got uh, various things as you can see here bookmarks passwords job description uh, meetings they also go down into um, very uh, from a general general subject down to a more detailed subject and all I have to do is just whenever I'm in the meeting or the location I just open up my app basically take the notes and jot them down. I, I assign pages which are more specific to the topic. So I've got a general topic here and a more specific page that aligns with specifically that section. In this case for demonstration what we're going to want to do we're going to store these PDFs and make them more accessible. So here if you've got your setup um, maybe you've got a contract section because you've got you know maybe 10 15 20 PDFs that you want to store this information and make it readily accessible and easy to get to and you can organize this the best way that's fit for you 
Now, whenever you open this up, in your case, the ribbon here, it may not be available or you may not see it, so you may need to pin it. In order to do that, yours may look just like this. All you have to do is click on one of the links here. I'm going to click on the home link and over in the right hand corner, move this over so you can see it, is the expand the ribbon. Now whenever I click on this thumbtack, it's going to pin it so that the ribbon is expanded. And once I move my window back, there we go, you can see that it stays there. And as I click through the other links, it does not remove itself or go away. So whenever you are ready to begin with inserting these PDFs, just click on the Insert tab. Once you do that, we're going to get to the section that will allow you to insert. We're going to go ahead and give this a title. Um, we're going to call this one specifically Contracts for 2017. See here, some of the sections are not or are grayed out. Once I tab or click in the body area, you can see now that they are available. And specifically for what I'm going to be doing, we want to store these PDFs and make it so that whenever I click on this page, that the details and the information that's in the PDF is viewable. That way I can scroll or I can search for specific information in it. And in order to do that with a PDF, instead of double clicking on the PDF and then opening a specific application and then scrolling, this is going to resolve that for us. So I'm going to click on File Printout. And this does also work here. You can see that this works with a Word or PDF document and it will insert the pages specifically here. Now all I have to do is click on choose file and I'm going to go specifically to my PDF. Once I have found and located that PDF I'm going to click on insert. You can see here that it is compiling the information. It's taking the PDF, it's uploading it to Microsoft servers and it's converting it specifically into the OneNote notebook. I'm going to pause the video. We'll come back once it's completed. Great. Okay, now you can see that it has inserted PDF and all of the details, the data, everything that I want to see that is in that PDF is available right here. And you can simply click on that and delete that. That will not actually delete the uh, contain printout information here uh, but it will just remove that that file specifically from that location now next let's create another one we're gonna call this job and the, the exact same thing all we're gonna do is we're gonna go to insert and in this case we're gonna cl click on file printout I'm going to go to our PDF file and insert. Pause and we will come back after this gets completed. Okay, uh, this is seven pages and it took only took about five seconds to upload and convert. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. See here, all of the information and the data that I want to be viewed from that PDF is available right here. So it's a great way, once again, to store and view these PDFs. You can also do Word documents instead of storing them in a place such as your OneDrive and then you've got to go into a specific file, say within ours, and actually find the specific file and then double click and open it. All you have to do is keep it right here and you're already able to view it without having to right click and open in Word Online or open in Word, the installed application. 
just a great tool great way to keep all this organized and stored for quick reference and make it available for whenever you need it thank you very much thanks for watching the video have a great day